Hi, <laughs> sitting here all kind of like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, still going through uh, through Green Lantern. We stopped at uh, 29, so we start with 29 this time. Let's just flash through this quickly. Look, uh, Grod has got the upper hand today. These puny heroes, tomorrow the wild. He's a naughty gra grape, grape. He's a naughty monkey. <laughs> no, he's, not, he's a naughty ape. I don't know why I called him a grape for. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mutation! Uh, sinking into the dark. Hmm. Uh, the third law, part one of three. Dark reunion. Uh, I want answers now. I'll be a little bit on the angsty side, the angry side. The third law conclusion: Green Lantern and entropy is unstoppable. Uh, from Doctor Light to Green Lantern, have a deadly Christmas. He's been attacked by a Christmas tree. <laughs> well, that's not that's hardly the way to celebrate the season, is it? Trying to kill your enemies with uh, with light strings. I don't know. Uh, fourth down and hell to go. Hmm. So you'll be fighting uh, some demons on a football field, American football field. Uh, Green Lantern versus Adam Strange. I do like Adam Strange, but I think Green Lantern's got the upper hand here. Because all, all the... All Adam Strange has is a rocket pack and a, and a gun. <laughs> and his wits and bravery and so forth, but... Uh, number 39. Uh, ooh. Has Barry Flash Allen returned, only to be killed by Darkstar? The Darkstar's are pretty much forgotten now. I think they might have had a little bit of a resurgence in the uh, recent Green Lantern. I think I saw, I was reading a, I think I was reading the Green Lantern and uh, had the Dark Stars were in it. I think one of uh, Grant Morrison's Green Lantern run. Predator returns. Slashed. He emerges from Carol Ferris. Because it's an entity within her. Hmm. Oh, is that a clip on the moon there? Right, Deathstroke the Terminator is easy prey for the Claws of Terror. Here you go, Predator versus Terminator. It's like an Arnold Schwarzenegger double bill. The Cosmic Defender, all charged up. He's hulking out on Green Lantern power by the looks of it. Uh, Trinity, the Wrath of the Destroyer. He's a big chap. The heat of battle. It's like the Green Lantern Corps versus the Dark Stars. Oh, it's coming! It's coming to a bad time for for Hal Jordan. Reign of the Supermen. Doomsday for GL. It's Mongol and Cyborg Superman. They've turned Coast City into Engine City. To basically make a, uh, I think they wanted to make the Earth. Um, what's the name of that planet that he has? Mongol War Planet, Hell Planet. He made some kind of war world. I think it's called War World, and they wanted to turn Earth into the new War World because he's a horrible person. Uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. You got a problem with that? Uh, Emerald Twilight number one, Green Lantern, the resurrection of Coast City. This is where he tried to use his Green Lantern power to make the city come back to life. So he's made a big construct 
like make it look like it was alive again but obviously it wasn't and he knew that so he uh he starts going a little bit crazy uh yeah uh, looking at this picture a little bit crazy a little bit not a little bit but a little bit and uh in the number 50 and we'll try that free green lantern it all ends here He's already sort of taken on the parallax shape. Is this glow in the dark? It's got that feeling of it from the, uh, it's got like a rough feel to the, so I think there might be some glow in the dark elements on there. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Oh, and how Jordan became parallax. He was, the, the, the yellow impurity in the, uh, in the Green Lantern, the, the avatar of fear, parallax. Um, managed to take him over in his time of uh, great turmoil. It was, already, it was already in him, apparently, but the uh, the turmoil, the anguish, the sadness of losing Co City was what managed to get Parallax to completely take control. It wasn't said so at the time, but that was what they decided later when they brought him back. That's how they managed to, that's how they managed, they managed to finesse him not being a, a bad guy in the end. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. That's not a good way for uh, Carl Rayner to come in. I forgot to mention, here's Carl Rayner. That's his first appearance, maybe, I'm not sure. There's a. Uh, first off, he's fighting Mongol. Not good. Uh, Superman to the rescue, maybe too late. Yeah, Mongol against a, uh, a fledgling Green Lantern is not good. Uh, you're right, it gets even not gooder. Uh, Major Force, who was a Captain Atom villain, who was a complete and an arsehole. He's a real psychopathic. And uh, um, it's around about this time we get the girlfriend in the fridge, where, like, yeah, Kyle's original girlfriend is killed, stuffed in a fridge by uh, Major Force. Or Major Arsehole, as he should be called. She was nice, she was. You didn't see him for very long, but she was like a nice little character. I thought she was cool. Oh, you know, nice supporting character for a superhero. And she gets killed! Because superheroes can never be lucky in love. Um, Alright, that was Green Lantern Zero, I just showed you there. <sighs> okay. <sighs> he, hmm. He's using his lantern ring to make himself more strong. Uh, Simon says... Here we see uh, Troya, Donna Troy, Wonder Girl. But she's become a dark star for a while. She, I think she lost her powers. I'm not sure. And so she took on the. She become a dark star with the dark star uniform, with the powers that it, that it gave. Uh, it's the New Titans versus Green Lantern. Yeah, Simon says Simon is a member of the uh, Fatal Five. Is it something five? And obviously he uses his psionic powers to make them fight each other. I'm guessing in that one. And uh, later on. Uh, Carl and Donna Troy have a romantic relationship together. Yeah. I don't think that lasted. But then he had a romantic relationship with Jade as well. And I'm not sure if that lasted either. <laughs> but you know, woohoo. Yeah, woohoo. May not have lasted, but woohoo. At least, uh, least he was able to go there. <laughs> at least he had the memories, that's what I say. <laughs> oh, there's Major Force again. Oh, uh, yeah. Capital Punishment, Act 3 or 3. Yeah, I think, uh, who will kill Major Force? There's Guy Gardner there as well in his warrior role. When he when he was retconned to have alien uh, ancestry. And, uh, yeah. Um, to Hell and Calabac, guest star in Dark Star. So there's Donna Troy in her Dark Star costume. Calabac, the uh, son of... Uh, Dark side. Uh, beast of both worlds. Is that half Calabac? No, it's not. So I've seen it's for a minute, it might be half Calabac, but I think it is. Two creatures, whatever they are. Uh, Parallax view, one of two. Yeah, after I think it was zero hour that um, Hal Jordan Parallax was in, was the main villain of. He was trying to sort of restart the universe he was trying to put everything back so that Coast City never died and he was trying to sort of fix everything but um, everyone was trying to stop him I don't know I was kind of like 
I was kind of almost on, on house side. I know he shouldn't be doing that kind of thing. And he was, he'd gone off the edge and yeah, who knows what would have happened afterwards. But um, yeah, I kind of thought, come on, let me just, let me just reboot everything. Bring everyone back to life again. <laughs> Mm, Parallax View Part 2 of 2, yeah. Carl Rainier came off the worst there. Right, The Siege of the Zai Charam. Part 2 of 5, so I'm not sure that's crossing over with. Supergirl, possibly. See that she's on the cover with him. Um, together again for the first time, Green Lantern and The Flash. I didn't mind Carl Rayner's run at all. I, was, I, I liked him as a Green Lantern replacement. I had no, no qualms with him. But uh, yeah, I'm glad Hal came back. Because uh, Hal's my guy. Hal's my, he's, he's my Green Lantern. Uh, Silence by Sonar. Right, number 68. Underworld Unleashed. Underworld Unleashed. Neuron came, gave people promised people powers, gave them wishes for extra power to claim their soul and then I don't know, opened up the gates of hell for um, demons to come to earth. And I just, I don't know, I just got a feeling I can't remember the storyline very well. But anyway, Underworld Unleashed. That's the second part of that. Um, uh, that was number 69. End on a 69. <laughs> yeah, okay. No particular reason for that, but... Uh, Maybe there is. Because <laughs> no. the year I was bored, of course. Um, right, I'm off till next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, when once again we gather, my grey maniacs, you make sure you all have a great amazing day, all right? And remember, may all your news be good news. Have a great amazing day. I'll have a great amazing day. Have a great amazing day. I hope you have a great amazing day.